January 24th, 2013 will be a day to remember for German basketball. The city of Berlin flirted with a minus 10 degree temperature. Nevertheless, there was a very unique event for basketball fans to attend. Alba Berlin and Brose Baskets Bamberg were facing each other in a top 16 game, seeking a first ever victory for a German team at this level of the competition. In the very first meeting between two teams from that country in EuroLeague. Since we got a chance to play in the, in the EuroLeague, we also achieved this going to the top 16 and proved that um, the German league is actually getting better and better and Bamberg also the last three years when they played in the EuroLeague were very close to advance to the top 16s. A lot of good players came this year to this league and want to play. It's very good advertisement for, for the Germans. Coming to the arena, Berlin's players knew what to expect from their opponents, who they know by heart. Very good team, very experienced team. Some of those guys like Gavell and Jacobson, they've been playing together for a long time along with the coach. So some of those guys, their core, they have a good chemistry. We're just gonna have to be ready uh, for their experience and their knowledge of the game, and we're gonna have to match that. Rosé Baskets were also thrilled to be exporting a domestic rivalry to the European scene. I think it's, it's special, like we can see it in a, a lot of Spanish teams when they meet each other in, in, in EuroLeague, it's always a, always a special game, so um, I think also for the fans and for the clubs, it's always like a kind of like a rivalry in a, in a domestic league. So uh, we're looking forward to it and um, want to get the win in Berlin. Anton Gavel knew that his opponents were very focused coming into the game, and it was understandable looking at their faces starting the warm up. However, this game was also a chance to meet his best friend, Heiko Shafatsik. You know, a great feeling to play against your best friend, but uh, on the court we're still a rival, so we're both competitors and we both want to win the game, so um, the friendship on the court must be laid down for, for a couple of minutes and then uh, we're back friends. It was cold outside the O2 world, while inside the people were in the heat of passion awaiting the game. This game is history, you know. The gym is going to be crazy and it's going to be, have a lot of energy um, and people want to see a great basketball game. So it's going to be a special day for uh, this first top 16 game against uh, Bamberg. The home team showed their will to demonstrate what they are made of, starting the game very well to gain an early double digit lead. Despite Bamberg's best efforts, Alba looked in seventh heaven. The German champions Brose Baskets responded, finding the right men to cool Alba down. Coach Fleming has done a wonderful job of uh uh, putting together a group of guys that like to play with each other, that put the team first. Uh, he implemented the team first mentality. Led by Bostian Nakbar's flair, Bamberg cut the home team's lead to two points at half time. Alba had to start from scratch. They may have lost their lead, but not their motivation. In the past couple of months, we worked very hard, we practiced a lot, we watched a lot of video. We all believe that hard work in the end pays off. At this moment, we're 0-4 in the top 16, so I think uh, we're still waiting for it to pay off. The reward for Alba came from the precious hands of the talented Nihad Jerovic. Former Barcelona Regal, Lotomatica Rome and Galatasaray Istanbul player put together some impressive numbers. Scoring 20 points with 8 rebounds, 3 assists and 4 steals. That is a lot of work for a player who is 23 years old. Alba took the win 82-63, savouring the joy and enthusiasm pouring out from the crowd. This was a historical game, historical moment for German basketball and to win this game was really important for us. I think all the teams show uh, that we are great, that we uh, play great defense and after that we have a lot of talent and offense like we show.
Everybody was delighted in Alba's locker room. It is always good to mark your territory against your bitter rival. We never got down in any kind of way. We always, you know, they gave us a punch and we came back with two to their face. So I think that's what, what made the difference today. However, that was not an arrival point. This game was only a stepping stone for the German basketball growth.